Hey everyone, I'm Silver, and welcome to my friend Black Moon Dragon's channel. So he does a lot of wonderful content here, like the sneak peek video that just went live today about GB8, which is I'm also going to cover in this video. But subscribe to him if you're already subscribed, don't unsubscribe, he's a really great guy. I really like the content he produces, and his channel's just amazing. I mean, he even shouted out the, uh, the Vanguard Noob, which is a new YouTuber, which will be linked in the description below. So go so, so, subscribe to him as well. Um, but yes, he does tutorial videos on teaching you how to play Vanguard. Um, he does deck profiles on the new stuff. Again, teaching you. He even, he even plays games with me. So if you want more of that type of content that's really climbing, just hit that like button. And we will all see you there on the Black Moon Dragons channel and on my channel. Again, guys, wonderful. Thank you for all the help. And we'll see you on that. So next, guys. Today, I'd like to talk about GB8. As if you guys might have remembered from my last video picture. Not really, I'm joking. Don't expect a picture. I'm pretty bad at that. But as if you can remember, there should be an image right about now on the screen showing a picture of Chrono's GB8 um, Gear Chronicle unit. So today, we had two new releases. And... Those releases were the Dimensional Robo um, Sneak Peek Stride and the Shadow Paladin. So right now on the screen, pop, is the Shadow Paladin unit. And I'm going to read its skill and I'm going to review on how I think the skill is. If it's too broken, if it's balanced, this and that. So it's a stride unit with 15k power, generate, uh, act vanguard once per turn, generation, generation break 8, counter blast 1, choose up to 5 of your rearguards and retire them. That's not grade specific, that's key. Because a lot of the new Shadow Paladin stuff thus far that's come out has been grade 1 for ritual. But retire up to 5 rearguards. Search your deck for up to the same number of grade 1 or less rearguards as the number of units that were retired. Call them to separate rear guards and they get plus 15,000 power until end of turn. So that is key. That's going to make columns and columns and columns for our people. That's four, That's a 30 additional to every column on the vanguard circle. That's not counting whatever skills you get on call. I could throw this into a blaster, uh, not blaster, a raging form deck and this would actually probably break the deck a little bit. Is this going to break the game? I don't think it's going to break the game. I did it until I read its second skill. Um, choose up to the same number of, of your opponent's rear guards as the number of units called and retire them shuffle deck. What? So, da -da -da, I got this next turn in bag. They stride into GB8. Oh, retire all five of my rear guards, my entire formation. This will cripple certain decks. This will cripple um, new nectar unless you're running new Asha, which is expensive. This will cripple probably most cloning decks or any decks that rely on their rear guards for skills. I am um, Royal Paladin's a good example. Gold Paladin, Shadow Paladin itself it cripples Shadow Paladin, and that skill sort of may break the game. Now this again is an end all skill. This is meant to be half my G units are flipped up out of the sixteen I can have. Probably a good portion of them are no longer able to stride into. So, this is my final attack. I have one counter blast left. This is what I can do to you. This card can go in a lot of decks, and that's what I like about it. It's going to be versatile, and it's going to be deadly. You're going to actually wish that you didn't have to face it. Now, granted that it's easy to defend against if you're running a draw-heavy deck like Oracle Think Tank. So, let's, let's look at it like this. If we do vanilla units... We go, we go, the maximum power that a vanilla unit can have is 8,000 on grid 1. So you call two vanilla grid 1s, that's 16,000 in the column. You're going to get 46,000 off both rear guard columns. Plus, your vanguard being at 26, plus 8 brings it to 34, plus, 30, uh, plus 15 is going to make it 49,000. So all three columns are going to be swinging for near 50,000 power at best what's this mean you're gonna need at minimum 150k shield 
That's 15 of your grade zeros that have 10k power. Or 30 cards from your deck. It's not going to be easy to guard. But there's probably going to be a lot more combos. And that probably will finish the game. Again, it's a game finisher. Whoever can get to GBA first will win. But let's move on to the next card, which is um, the new Dayusha Dayu unit, which, um, give me a second, I gotta find its name, because I forgot, I don't care. So the new Dayusha unit, that will pop up on screen now, and you'll be able to see that, and its skill is uh, Auto Vanguard, Generation, Generation Break 8. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, this unit gets plus 10,000 power and one critical for each rearguard until end of turn. At the end of battle, that 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 this unit's power is 80,000 80, or greater, all of your rear guards get plus 10 k for each critical on this. What's that do? That essentially shafts you. So, Dimension Police is known for its power gains. So you're going to use your rear guard skills to the best of their abilities. And you're going to get, and you're going to get 50,000 power on a 26,000 Vanguard, so it's not going to be that hard to break 80k. And you're going to get five criticals. So this is going to basically say, well, I can't guard anything because each rear guard is going to get 50k after the battle. Um, and this is not a once per turn skill. And so what's this mean? Well, in Dimension Police deck, you could run a Commander Laurel, the Grade One. Its skill is rest it, and it's rest four rear guards and stand your vanguard. What's this mean? Well, you just dropped uh, basically 90k to stop the vanguard attack. You might be able to s s squeeze by and take the uh, rear guard attacks. I'm gonna say nope. I'm gonna rest four rear guards, stand my vanguard, and swing at you again for five criticals and um, 80k again, because that's what I do. I swing at you for 80k. What makes it worse is if you run stand triggers in this deck, it's going to stand your rear guards. And what's that doesn't sound so bad, but the way the skill's worded, if you at the bottom of it, it says. All your rear guards get plus 10,000 power for each of this unit's criticals. So, you don't reveal any triggers on your first check. Or maybe you reveal a couple criticals. So you add them to your vanguard because you know you're going to stay in your vanguard. Your opponent PGs you the second attack. What's this mean? Well, last turn you added 50k to all your rear guards. You stood your vanguard and let's say you got three stand triggers out of your drive check this time. What's that do for you? Stand, stand, stand. Another 50k to each of those rear guards that are now standing. Yeah, uh, that's a hundred additional k to every rear guard. And if you're smart, you've probably rested Commander Laurel right behind your vanguard, banking on getting those three stand triggers. So now you have two columns with a hundred k additional per rear guard. So that's 200k a column. Yeah, this deck, th this card could literally change the tide of battle. Again, it's Generation Break 8. I don't think it's going to break the game severely, but it is going to pick on people with less money. And that is a problem in this game. Because if you can't afford good cards, then you can't play the game. And I, and I don't want to sound like one of those people that you need to actually sink money into the game to play. It didn't used to be like that. You used to be able to pick up Vanguard, run half the deck as commons or more, and the deck was fine. And then G came out. And Gear Chronicle changed all that. So it made a problem. And I like the skills. I wish they had incorporated this earlier in G, but I don't think this is going to help it. I find the skills fun and amusing, but the second market is broken. I'm not going to ramble on that. That's for a later video, because I wanted to get to these sneak peeks as soon as possible. It's kind of late. I was out spending the day with a friend and just having a wonderful time. I'm sorry about that. Again, the three units will appear on screen, hopefully simultaneously next to each other, because I'm awesome at editing. Not really. 
But guys, until next time, I've been the Silver Wolf. I hope you enjoyed the sneak peek, and I will see you all later. Peace.